Hey guys, so for today's video, I thought I would talk about the Oscars. And I'm not talking about the Oscars that happened last week. I'm talking about the Oscar Mayer Wiener Mobile that got into an accident and destroyed the wiener and it's really devastating and no, I'm just kidding. So the Oscars were this past Sunday, so a few days ago, and I don't know why, but I always watch the Oscars and I always regret it because the Oscars are too long. So this year, Neil Patrick Harris hosted the Oscars and it started off great. I was having fun watching it. Being a musical number, it was awesome. But then as the show went on, Neil Patrick Harris was not that funny, if you know what I mean. He did this one bit where he was like, I predicted all the winners or whatnot, and he it was just this really drawn out kind of like joke where he asked someone in the audience to watch after this glass case that apparently had his predictions in it. And then some guy had a key, and then at the end of the show, like four hours later, Someone came out, gave him the key, he opened it up and read everything, and it was everything that happened in the show. And it was just like, really? And then he tried to do some things in the audience, and it obviously didn't work. Well, last year, Ellen DeGeneres hosted, and it was probably one of the best Oscars I've seen in a while. Because Ellen, she was funny, she interacted with the audience a lot better, she did the whole selfie thing, and it was, it was awesome. And those three hours just like flew by. So you're probably wondering, I didn't watch the Oscars, who cares? Well, I have found winners online. For best picture was Birdman. And I didn't see Birdman. I only know that it was shot in like one continuous shot, which is kind of weird because if you mess up and you gotta do it all over again, I don't see the point of that. And it just looks weird and confusing and I don't know, but I'll watch it and see if I agree with it. So for best actor was Eddie Redmayne for The Theory of Everything and he played Stephen Hawking. And I remember seeing the first time I heard this was happening, this movie, I saw the trailer, I said this is going to win a lot of awards because any movie about some person in history wins a lot of awards. It just happens. Julianne Moore won for Still Alice. It's a movie, she has like Alzheimer's. I've seen trailers and different scenes of it, it looks good. So I think she deserved it. And for best director was some guy who I'm not even gonna pronounce his name, he directed Birdman. Maybe he deserved it, maybe he didn't. Uh, before, best supporting actor was J.K. Simmons for Whiplash. From what I've seen, from like the scenes in the trailer, he just yells at this kid a lot who's like drumming. It doesn't seem like my type of movie, but maybe I'll watch it. I don't know. But for best supporting actress was Patricia Arquette, and I agree with this. She deserved to win. I thought watching her in that movie, I was like, yeah, she's good. She's probably gonna be nominated. That was my first thought. That was great. So Birdman obviously won best original screenplay. The Hero 6 won her best animated feature film. And I haven't seen this movie, but it looks good. I was hoping that the Japanese movie, like the hand-drawn movie, would have won because I feel like traditional like animation doesn't win a lot, and computer animation does, which is kind of sad. Best cinematography, obviously Birdman, and all these other categories that no one cares about. Best sound editing, you know, you don't think about these things, but they obviously do possess. Best production design was the Grand Budapest Hotel. Yeah, the Oscars were, they were okay. And there was one particular moment in the night that was kind of a mirror of last year. John Travolta came out. Well, first of all, point backtrack, last year, John Travolta messed up. Idina Menzel's name. Idina. <laughs> Can't even say her name. Idina Menzel's name. This year, he was gonna redeem himself, and he was gonna do this whole awesome like, thing. But he came out, and he said her name right, but then he like got really close to her, like really close, and just like grabbed her face, and just like wouldn't let go. And she was all like. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can't do a good John Travolta impression. It was just really, really awkward, and the whole time I'm like, can she just swat his hand away and be like, you know what, give me some personal space, please. It was four hours long. When you thought, oh, it's gonna end at 11, like it should. No, it ended at like 12, and I was so tired. You know, I could've skipped it, but Neil Patrick Harris, I give him like a five, for, five for trying, a four for not being funny. 
Teen host of Tony's, so you should just stick to that. That's Mona's forte. So you should get Ellen back. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like, subscribe, comment. I'm getting old. I don't remember my outro. Bye until next week. Okay, wrap it up. Okay, bye.